reveals herself to the littlest ones. This is the picture that emerges from the Marian apparitions at Lourdes. From February 11th until July 16, 1856, the Blessed Virgin appeared 18 times to Bernadette Soubirous, the 14-year-old girl. Within the cave of Massabielle, Bernadette saw for the first time what she describes as a lady dressed in white. She was wearing a white dress, also a white veil, a blue belt, and a yellow rose on each foot. On March 25, 1858, Mary would make herself known to Bernadette as the Immaculate Conception. Although the young shepherdess did not understand the term, the revelation confirmed the dogma that had been defined by Pope Pius IX four years earlier. Prayer and the conversion of sinners are at the heart of Mary's request to Bernadette. Go tell the priest to come here in procession, and that a chapel is to be built, was the message Mary asked the girl to bring to her parish priest, Father Peramal, who doubted the reality of the apparitions. Depuis 150 ans, les pèlerins n'ont jamais cessé. For 150 years, pilgrims have never ceased to come to the Grotto of Massabiel to hear the message of conversion and hope which is addressed to them. And we have done the same. Here we are this morning at the feet of Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, eager to learn from her alongside little Bernadette. La Vierge Immaculée, pour nous mettre à son école avec la petite Bernadette. In addition to appeals for prayer and penance, Mary also brings gestures of love for mankind. Until now, the Church has authenticated 67 miraculous healings at Lourdes. Because of the close relationship Mary has with the ill, February 11th, the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, is also the World Day of the Sick. Every year, more than five million people from around the world come on pilgrimage to Lourdes to pray to Mary and ask for healing of body and soul for themselves or their relatives. <laughs>